So let's continue with the uh, session three of the day. Let me invite Umesh Bhaiya for carrying on the session. Over to you, Bhaiya. Okay. Namaste. Wanna come? Let us start this third session of the day seven. If there is any question, I'll take up the question. If there is any sharing, we'll listen to the sharing. And then we'll also try to summarize what we have discussed in the past seven days. So any question? Um, first, we said resolution is right feeling and uh, right thoughts. And then when we are expanding that, we are saying resolution is clarity on those nine uh, things. So whether uh, those two are the same, how that right feeling and right thought, whether the same is expanded into eight or... Yeah. I mean, when we say resolution, resolution is basically right understanding, right feeling and right thought. All the three. Right understanding, right feeling and right thought is the resolution within. When are we going to resolve? We may try to get some sort of solutions. But finding out solutions in living, like I'm having sort of filling up a position for someone. And then I'm trying to find out a solution for that. So what that solution could be? Trying to control the emotion, trying to control the feeling, try to have a certain feelings within me when I'm interacting with that someone. So this is the solution. But I get completely resolved within myself, which means every single desire, thoughts and expectation is guided by coexistence, harmony, harmony relationship. and relationship. This is the resolution. Okay. So having right understanding, right feeling and right thoughts in me is the resolution. Mm. The same thing can be expressed in many different ways. So having those nine things is also a resolution, correct? Reaching to the state of love is also a resolution. It means the same. The meaning is the same. But what is important is that my basic aspiration of continuity of happiness and prosperity will get fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling and right thoughts. This is what we have been discussing from our introductory workshop. Now, in each level of the workshop, the right understanding, the meaning of right understanding is getting expanded and unfolded. Any and, other question? Uh, and there also, first uh, we are saying right understanding is understanding the situation, understanding the other uh, human being like that. But now we are saying understanding is... Uh, understanding the existential reality. So if it is understanding the existential reality, that is the single one. So only one thing is everything is in uh, coexistence. There is a harmony, there is relationship. Only that is right understanding. So when I have some issue with someone, we are talking about I should have some right understanding about that, why she told that and all such things. So what is that relation? Yeah, I mean... If we recall the content of right understanding in the introductory workshop. So what we have concluded in the introductory workshop that for the fulfillment of my basic aspiration, right understanding, right feeling and physical facility is required. And that right understanding is basically understanding harmony at four levels. Right? Individual, family, society, nature and existence. So we never said that understanding situations, understanding other people, right? Even in the introductory workshop, the meaning of right understanding was the same. Understanding coexistence, understanding harmony and understanding relationship. But the primary level, so in the primary level, we said, let us understand the whole expanse of our being. I am a human being, 
understand human being. I'm living with human being, so understand human human relationship. I'm living, I'm the part of the nature, so let us understand the human and the nature's relations. Same thing. Thank you. Any other question? Baya, I have a doubt. Yesterday morning, uh, Ganesh uh, sir, uh, he said, um, he talked about the things of uh, coexistence. So my doubt here is, uh, when one form is going to decompose and it is going to transform into another form, for example, material. Now, as a self, one day, I am going to decompose in the nature, in a, on a body, but my self is there. So, when it is going to get into the form again, um, can I, um, on that time, I can remember all those things, whatever I have in the uh, past. Okay. See, when we look into the material, this composition and decomposition, is happening. Purita Tamchi, when it comes to the material, the composition and decomposition is happening. It's happening every moment. Even at this moment also, your cells are getting composed and decomposed. Correct? At this moment also. The imagination which is there in the cell, it is there or it's not there. So since morning, many cells have composed and decomposed. But the imagination is still there. Right? It's still there. The same thing will happen. Any other question? See, what has been said, this right, right understanding of a unit, activity, with this, we are able to see the form and property. Okay. Are you seeing my form? Tell me about my form. Okay. Right. Okay. Are you able to see the properties of body? Okay, close your eyes. Look at your look at your body first. Open your eye. Look at your body. What are you seeing now? The form of your body. Right? Close your eyes. Observe your body. Now what are you seeing? Yeah. Now you are seeing some interactions happening in the body, some effects happening in the body. So this effect, this interaction is the properties of the body. Correct? And how you are seeing this effect and interaction? Through sensations. Okay? Now if you close your eyes and start observing every small cell from your forehead to the finger, to the toe and see that what are the things you are able to observe within the body, what are the things you are able to sense in the body. Yeah. Yeah, we are, we are just trying to check the properties of a material. Right. What is the meaning of pro the properties? It's effect. It's interaction. Correct. Your breathing. You said that I'm able to see the breathing. So when you are witnessing this breath, right? Are you able to see that the breath is stuck at one particular point only or it's inhaling and exhaling both the things are happening? Correct. So, that effect is there, right? This is the meaning of property. Now, 
this oxygen which you are inhaling and it is reaching to the novel point, then it stops and then you start exhaling. In the process, each of this molecule right, is going inside the body and then you are exhaling. Let us take blood circulation. The blood is circulating in the body. Okay. Every single molecule of blood is in the space. Correct? But then are you able to see that the effect of every molecule with the another molecule, this is how the blood is circulating? Have you seen MRI? What do you see in MRI? Can you describe MRI? What, what do you see in the MRI? Very good. Very good. Yeah, that is what the meaning of that's what the meaning of MRI, right? In the MRI, you get to see the cells, right? You get to see a gap in the cell. Correct? The gaps in the cell. Then you get to see these different blood vessels, right? You also get to see the bone. All these things is there in the MRI. If you see the X-ray, in X-ray, you will see your bones, right? You will see the bone and you will see the gap. Just close your eyes and try to look your body as you are doing the scanning of your body, like MRI scanning. What will you will be able to appear? How it will appear? See, when we start looking into the form, we just start seeing this object. The heart is this particular shape, the kidney is this particular shape, the brain is this particular shape, you know, my eyes are this particular. So we are just seeing at the form of the body. But start observing the properties of the body. What you will be able to see? Some threads, some cells. And all these threads and all these cells are submerged in the space. Correct? Now, when you are focusing on the body, you may not be able to see the form of the body. You just focus on the properties of this. Right? Similarly, just focus on the properties of the body. Okay? Don't look at the form of any person sitting in this hall. But just look at the properties of the pe people sitting in this hall. What is appearing in front in your imagination now? What is appearing in your imagination? Are you able to imagine something? What is that? How the body will appear? That's what I'm asking you, how the body will appear. Uh, sometimes I'm able to see only the uh, borderline of my body. Yeah. When see, I close my eye. Yeah, you're seeing the borderline of your body, which means still you're seeing the form of the body, the shape of the body. I'm asking you to look at the property of the body. The property of the body, which means there is an effect is happening within the unit and the effects in happening with other unit. So that one cell, something is happening in that one cell, that composition, decomposition, right, extraction and contraction is happening in, within that cell and that cell is interacting with the other cell. It is creating an effect on the other. So if you just start looking at the body, just properties of the body, then you will be able to see, just see, see, see some lines and some cells, right? What will appear? Just few lines and few cells and every cell is in the space and every line is in the space. Correct? 
Now just visualize everybody here is the same. No form. But focus on the properties. Right? So in this hall, what you will see, what you will be seeing? Only lines and the cells, which are there in the space. Correct? Are you seeing any form now? You are shifting, right? Becoming more subtle from this tool, from this broad thing. You are shifting towards this minor things, the minute things, the subtler things. So the property is more subtler than the form. Right? Property is more subtle than the form. Then come to the natural characteristics. Natural characteristics of material, I mean the bio order. Right? And start looking at your body, start seeing the body with its natural characteristics. What are you seeing now? What is the natural characteristics of body? Right? Pulsation is there. It is, respon it is responsive to the external stimuli. Pulsation is there. Right? So now, now, what you, now what are you seeing? You are seeing some lines, you are seeing some cells. All these lines, all these cells are submerged in this space. And now what you are seeing? The pulsation. Right? What are you seeing? The pulsation. Now you are not seeing any, any shape. Because you are focusing on the body. You are going more subtler. Right? You are going more subtler. No shape is there, no color is there. And everything is submerged in the space. Right? When you are not focusing on the form and focusing only on the properties, then the shape will not be there. The material has a shape. Right? It is limited. But now, the vision is getting developed. So from seeing from that broad things to the subtler things. Now what you will be seeing? The pulsation. Right? With this pulsation, look at the innateness of the body. What is the innateness? What is the innateness of material? What is the innateness of human body? Exist formation, deformation. Now you'll start seeing that the cells are forming, deforming. Right? Not a single activity is continuous in the, in the body. But this activity is changing. When the activity is changing, some formation, some deformation is taking place. Okay? Now expand your vision from your body to this hall and start seeing that what is happening in this hall. Right? And now to the whole SRM. Now take yourself to the whole earth. Now you bring the moon, Jupiter, sun, everything in between. Look at our whole galaxy what is happening. In the whole galaxy, what you are able to see? There is a space, there are lines, there are cells, there are atoms, there are atomic structures. And each of these atoms, atomic structures, cells and the cellular structures are related and connected. And everything is happening in a very organized way. Are you doing anything for that? Whatever things are happening in your body at this moment, are you doing anything for that? It's happening in very organized way. Right? So that self-organization is there. Every unit is energized in the space. And then this coexistence is there. All these things is happening in a very definite way. Correct? Now in this all what whole you can imagine, start imagining now. Let us imagine there are minimum 500 Earths. There are minimum 500 moons. People say that there are millions of Earths. But let us start with 500 Earths. There are 500 Earths, there are 500 moons, there are 500 Jupiter, there are 
you know, 500 galaxy, there are 500 sun, and everywhere what you are seeing now is the space, the lines, the cells, the atom, the atomic structure, and you are there in between all these. So, what you are there, your presence in the whole existence is also due to the submergence and the coexistence. Are you able to visualize it? At least at the level of visualization, at the level of information, are you able to see to it? That everything which is happening around me is happening with certain law, the law of existence. It is happening in a very organized way. It is happening in a very systematic way. It is happening in a very harmonious way. I am not doing anything for that. This other person who, who is sitting next to me is also not doing anything for that. But it is happening. Right? But it is happening. Having this understanding, having this clarity is basically the clarity of submergence. This is the clarity of submergence, that I am submerged and all other units are submerged. Having the clarity that there is a self-organization, there is inherent harmony, this is harmony. And then everything you will find that related and connected, right? See, we are so used to look at only the forms, so even all those effects which is happening within my body, I am not able to see to it. Correct? Effect which is happening in my body, I am not able to see to it. So there is some effect happening between the slider and the screen, even at this moment. But I am not able to see to it. When I will develop my vision to see that every single unit is submerged in the whole space, then I'll be able to see that every unit and the effects of every unit on the other unit. Similarly, the effects of every organ, my organ of the body on the other organs of the body. Correct? All this thing. Let us say stomach gets upset. Some effects are happening or not happening. But then on a very broader level, we get to see that this, some part of the stomach is having that sensation of pain. But that sensation, that irritation in the stomach has started from some other part, right? And then it has got affected, the stomach got effect, but I am not aware of it. I am not aware of my body. If I am not aware of my body, if I am not aware of what is happening inside the body, I will not be able to see to it. Similarly, if I am not aware of myself, and I am not aware of what is happening in the self, then I will not be able to see to it. If this thing is there in my imagination, without my awareness, instead of this, if I realize my contemplation, at least if I initiate my contemplation, at least in the first phase, I can initiate the contemplation with an information. Now we have two choices. One choice, keep having those sort of imagination that my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, my dean, my director, my children. Okay? Other choice, I can ponder upon there is a space which is continuous and every single unit is submerged in the space. I can keep thinking upon the mutual fulfillment, interconnectedness, relatedness, the cyclic things of the nature. I can keep thinking upon what is the trust, what is respect, what is the meaning of affection. If all those things are going in me, which means somehow I am trying to initiate the contemplation within me. And if such sort of contemplation would happen in me seriously, again and again, again and again, then this will trigger my desire and the lower 
activities of the cell, the B2. Right? So, one of the things we can start doing now, what? Contemplation. But to do this contemplation, what is required? The content. So, the clarity of the on the content. If we develop more and more clarity on the content, we will have more material to contemplate on. And with such enriched material, our desires, right desires will form. Okay. So, what is the issue? Where is the issue? Even at the level of self, there is no issue, right? That pure observer is there, that innate nature is there. I am not able to see to it, that is also not issue. Because I am in a process, right? I am in a process of transformation. If I am putting seed of mango today, and if it takes 10 years to grow as a mango tree, how many years will it take? So, what is the issue? What is the issue? There is a coexistence, there is harmony, there is relationship, I am continuous, and the time is also continuous. Right? So, there is no issue. There is only I need to invest myself in the process of my development. Even if I do not invest, the development is going to be happen. At this moment, if I do not invest myself, the development will happen. Right? Because that is what the design of the whole existence. But then it may take a lot of time. Maybe another 10, 15, 30 bodily journey, then I will get aware of things and all those 10, 15, 20 bodily journey going through the same suffering. If the mother-in-law says, how are you? I get upset. Same thing will go for the next 10, 15, 20, 30 bodily journey and then I will get aware, then I will take efforts. Efforts has to, has to be there. Without efforts, this transformation is not possible. But then I can start taking that effort today only. So, what is the issue? Yeah. That is also not an issue. <laughs> yeah. I am not able to, right? I am not able to because my priority is right understanding. The priority is right feeling. The priority is right thought. When we look into the priority order, that becomes the priority number one. So, that is also not issue. The issue is that I am in a process of transformation. I have my own speed. I have my own current imagination. I have my own current status. And with that current state only I will process. So it is very natural way. What I can do? With intensive efforts, I can increase the speed. I can increase the speed of transformation with the intense effort. That's it. A yeah, new contradiction has emerged in the space now. Hmm. When we are talking about everything is in harmony and everything is self-organized in the space, and when natural disasters are occurring, just like tsunami, earthquake, cyclone, can we take it as a part of harmonizing all these units? It's an initiative of this existence to make all these things to be in harmony. And secondly, when two aircrafts are colliding with each other in the space, can we take it as a part of harmonious initiative of the existence also? See, it's a natural organization, but it is not a favorable sensation to the human being. So, human beings say that it is a natural disaster. But it is a natural organization, right? Yes, ultimately it is the initiative it's, of the existence. No? Yeah, it is a natural organization. Yes. 
from west coast to the south coast of India, even the place we are sitting now, Chennai, 60,000 years ago, this was water. Just imagine if that earthquake activity had not happened. But it has happened. That is the reason we are sitting here. That is how we are sitting here, right? So, everything happening in the nature with this natural law. Sometimes this natural law are not favoring to our sensations. They are not favorable to, favorable to us. That is what we pursue. And we call them as a disaster. But if I have this clarity that and you know why do we call it as a disaster? Because many buildings get collapsed. Many body dies. Because somewhere we have this perception that if I construct a building, it should not collapse. So I say it, it is a disaster. But if I am able to see that the formation and deformation is there, even there will not be cyclone, the building is going to collapse. It will collapse. Now no disaster. Rather than becoming unhappy, it is always wise to accept all these happenings in a natural way. Ah, to understand. Yeah. To understand it is happening, it's happening with certain rules. So if I understand the rule, the rule of existence, the rule of nature, I'm in harmony. Here, again, the property, right? When you are saying this calamity, it's basically effects. Effects are happening. Effects of one unit on the another units are happening. But if I understand that these effects are happening because of certain rule, the rule of existence and the rule of nature, and if you understand this rule, then at the level of your thoughts, you have that organization, the systematic thoughts are there. So you are in peace. Otherwise, you lose the peace of your mind. So here, by understanding the effect of one unit on the other, by understanding the properties of units of all these four orders, I can ensure the peace within me. And this is different than the happiness. Okay. Now something is going on here and it's always going on. Broadly we can say that the things which is going on in me as a thoughts. Right? We do this exercise, observing the thoughts. But then at this moment some thoughts are going on. Okay? So those thoughts we need to observe and not our thinking. The thoughts which are going on in me at this moment, that I need to observe and not my thinking. Because there is possibility, if I start observing, I may think something. I may start thinking that tomorrow the workshop will over, by what time I will catch my train, I will go home. And what my spouse will say, this is thinking. But while I am going through this thinking, some thoughts are there in me. So those continuous thoughts which are there in me, that I need to observe. Okay. When you are thinking, it may appear that you have only one single thought. But if you start observing your thoughts, then you will find that there are multiple. Sometimes when you are thinking, it may appear like it is a very systematic. But when we start looking into our thoughts, we observe that there is so many randomness. So observing thought and then thinking on something and observing it. Both the things are required and I need to observe both. From there, 
I can start observing my thoughts, the thoughts which are going on in me. Okay? So the thoughts are here. It's going on here. And why the thoughts are going on here? The thoughts are going on about the effect and the impact of other units on me. I went to take sign on my leave application for this UHV 3 and my HOD said no. Now what is this? Effect. Effect, right? And now this will go in my thought. And I would continuously taking these thoughts in me. Right? When I am taking this thought in me, I can start looking into the feeling behind it. We are just taking an example. So what will be the feeling behind it? If this thought is making me uncomfortable within, so what feeling I have? It will not work just by saying that there is a feeling of opposition. Right? I will not be able to look into my feeling then. It's well, a very broad category, relationship and opposition. So the feeling I had is, uh, I am uh, I am applying for a course or a FTP, which is going to benefit me as well as the university, but why they are not signing? So that was running in my mind. Then I thought, okay, the trust has to be built. So we will give some strong document so okay, immediately. Good, good. Thank you. See, it's not the feeling of opposition only. But now, what? The trust. So, the feeling of opposition which is going on in me is due to the lack of trust in me. Because what I thought, if I go to the office and if somebody signs on my leave application, the other person has a trust on me. Now, this feeling I am getting, generating within me is due to the lack of trust in me or in the other person. What do you think? The other person doesn't have trust in him or I do not have trust in me. But actually, one incident happened. One gentleman took uh, uh, on-duty leave, but he was enjoying at home. Because that one person made some mistake, he was caught later and the action was taken. So now that impression has come to all the people. So now everything we need to produce a strong document. Uh, it is like, uh, I have trust on me, I believe that uh, mail has come. Uh, one mistake happened that has been carried out throughout the years. It happened in 2014-15, uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I got, I got the whole story. I am just bringing your attention on this particular thing. When the other person is not signing on my leave application and I have this irritation within me, the cause is lack of trust in me or the lack of trust in other person. What do you think? Who is lacking the trust? Am I lacking the trust or the other person is lacking the trust? Why I am lacking the trust? Because I thought that if other people behave as per the way I want them to behave, the trust is there. Because something which is favorable to me, if it is happening, the trust is there. So, because of such sort of feeling, if I am getting disturbed, so is this the feeling or do I need to go to more subtler level? Now, what is the issue? I have not understood the trust. What is the issue? I, my happiness is basically whether the other people sign or not sign. Sensation. You know, if someone signs, sensation of happiness, happiness from sensation, sensations from the favorable feelings. This way I can go deep. Now, why all these things is happening? 
why these feelings are getting into me the competition why it is good going on in me go little further down try to understand do this analysis part because all these effects you know the property effects is happening at the level of thoughts so we have to do this analysis part we have to analyze it very properly so when we do the analysis and conclude so if i go to the little deeper level then i find that okay i am expecting to be happy by the favorable behavior of the other is this happiness no now what do i need i need to understand what is happiness so what is happiness to be in the state of harmony now how do i develop this state of harmony within by understanding coexistence realization by realization within by development of understanding within and by contemplation within for that what do i need to do aware of myself and doing this exercise so whenever any thought is there and if that thought if you try to see the feeling behind that thought and if that feeling is not comfortable then without reacting to that feeling this analyzing to the deepest level is required and then as we do the analysis part of it if we let it open that also loses our peace so i need to conclude it a firm conclusion and what is that firm conclusion i am not able to understand what is happiness and that is the reason i have become unhappy correct that is the reason i have become unhappy if i do this analysis part at very initial stage we are just taking this as an example okay so it's not your personal case but we are just taking this as an example if i understood this at that very initial stage that since last one year if everybody is applying for the leave application need to have substantial documents to support then before i put my leave application i will arrange to get all these documents i will remain in harmony i will remain in peace right but if i'm if this thoughts are not organized which means if i am not in the peace then i may not be able to take decisions correctly the same situation could have been handled in a very different way right i am quite aware that whenever a faculty goes to take leave, you know leave sanction from the department then they ask for the proof do i have this proof number 1 proof number 2 proof number 3 no go get it attach with the application submit it simple you are in a peace other person is also in the peace okay so this continuously at least we can at the level of information we can start collecting the information start gathering the information what is the meaning of coexistence what is the meaning of space what is the meaning of submergence what is the meaning of interconnectedness what is the meaning of mutual fulfillment what is the meaning of enrichment what is the meaning of cyclic what is the meaning of harmony what is the meaning of relationship what i expected in relationship if we develop all this content the contemplation will start but then focus is within or outside that matters a lot the focus is in within or outside if the focus remain within most of the time you will be in a state of harmony right the moment you focuses outside you will lose your harmony now start observing when you become unhappy when your focus is out when you whenever your focus is out you are bound to be unhappy because that outside focus is not the complete focus outside focus is with only expectations of favorable feeling 
but that complementarity is if it is missing out then we can be unhappy so i can focus outside i can focus inside and i can identify my complementarityness i can be the peace correct and the complementarityness can be understood only by accepting the relationships which means again the focus is inside you are making some plans to do outside with the people but where the planning is taking place within and this planning is taking place with my high, higher activities okay now these are the six steps so very important like all the time to evaluate ourselves our center of living so where am i here 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 at least my center of living is where most of the time what is in my imagination salary when do i invest where do i invest bank balance car this cloth that cloth this ac that ac this car that car so my center of living is physical facility correct sometime it is there which means the center of living is not physical facility so we need to identify our center of living right whether the center of living is the body so the maximum efforts body right whether my center of living is the sensation who enjoys sensation self if you don't attach to yourself with any sort of sensation would you have pleasure of it no you can eat hundreds of gulab jamun but if you don't attach your sensation with it you would not have pleasure of eating gulab jamun even if you don't eat any gulab jamun but still you can enjoy the pleasure because who is enjoying the pleasure of senses so you involve the body or if you don't involve the body right if you would like to test the sensation the testing is also happening in the self but if you want to provide the test to the material then only the body is required right so whether my center of living is the sensation whether my center of living is feeling from others outside so i may not be focusing more on 6 5 4 but 3b or i am focusing on feelings from within right feelings from inside or the upper thought you know to see i am ensuring this feeling within me unconditionally and continuously so where is my center of being if anybody wants to reflect on this for you where is your center of being three three a okay yes for you sir class where none of the faculties were ready to go 
and uh, hod requested you are the only person to go and handle the class for uh, one particular section in our uh, campus as such <laughs> so one student asked a question we were discussing uh, the feeling of relationship ma'am in the class you are my teacher once you once i meet you outside the class i could only relate you as a sister as an aunt as somebody else but not as a teacher because institution demands me that you are my teacher how should i see uh, my uh, feeling of relationship to my official people is yes they are my colleagues even outside the college i treat them as their colleagues no brother nothing as such so my spheres are very limited and it's perfect how should i deal with this with this question yes yeah you can share your experience with your student that i attended uhv3 workshop and ganesh ji was my teacher but i used to say ganesh bhaiya so simple right she was saying here right for the past eight days we are saying each other bhaiya didi uncle aunty See, this is just a nomination a name a teacher sister brother these are just name but the feeling behind it is important if that feeling is there then we are comfortable with it so whether someone's call me teacher someone's call me sir someone's call me bhaiya bhai okay my student should have this feeling of trust respect glory and gratitude towards me so that is the meaning that he is accepting me as a teacher if my student is able to see the trust respect affection glory and gratitude in me that is the meaning of bhai or didi okay but yeah i'm coming with the same point uh, <laughs> uh in one another fdp when we have attended they said that i mean that resource person said that uh in the workplace i mean when you are working in a place so we should be uh, treat our uh, coworker that is we should be a colleague so we should not have any other kind of relationship like as ma'am said a uh, sister brother or whatever it may be and uh, is that anything like uh, we should not have such kind of relationship like sister or brother Any or we should be uh, we, we have to treat only uh, as a coworker or a colleague in our see whether this this is your colleague right this is your friend this is your boss this is your subordinate your sister your brother this other person is human being or not so i need to have the clarity of human human relationship with that clarity of human human relationship i can live with the feeling of relationship i may call brother or teacher that's hardly makes any difference what is what makes a difference in my interactions with the other that i got this clarity on human human relationship and i am able to live with this feelings of relationship with the other that's it thank you bhai correct that's it bhaiya the in the 3a the feeling from within when when we are asking to check our observations on imagine we could see um, what kind of feeling i have over every unit every single person or every thinking material all these feelings are happening within me so just observing what is my feeling is in 3a and sometime when we take a reference like what we have to ensure with the feeling then we will think about the feeling of trust to be there now i am lacking in that feeling the current feeling is the lack of trust but taking a reference from what is a trust so it is between this 2c and 3a correct correct this is how it goes all this development which is happening and going to happen in this yellow block would always be guided by the upper block would always be gu guided by the upper block 
So that is how we do, you know, we look into our current state, we evaluate our current state with the desirable state and then again improvement in the current state. So this cell preview will be continuous, that cell preview is basically the verification and evaluation. So if I am, I am in 3A, it would also mean that the 2C is also there. So sometimes I am in 2C, sometimes I am in 3A, but the center of living is where? Is it 2C or 3A? If this is the center, then most of the time I am in harmony. If this is the center, then whenever there is, I am able to see some trouble, I visit this and I try to resolve the trouble, troubleshooting mechanism, not resolution. But if I shift, my center of living is shift to the 2C, then this is resolution. I am trying to ensure those feelings within me by understanding these three realities. The coexistence, the harmony and relationship. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. Uh, my question is that uh, one can be in the different stages at a particular point of time. Suppose right now I am thinking I am at the level 6 physical facility. But when I am taking care of my body then I am at the level of 5. Or again I am taking care of uh, up or feeling from within then at the 3 then again to the 6. So it can be for a person at different point of time can be in the multiple stages in the range from 3A to 6. See all these things, right? If you look at the physical facility, the physical facility is there or not? Yeah. Body is there or not? Yeah. Sensation is there or not? Yeah. When we are interacting with the other, are we getting feeling from the other or not? Yes. When we are interacting with the other, we are sharing our feeling with the other, right? All these things are happening, but where my center is, my main focus, whether I'm focusing here, I'm focusing here, I'm focusing here. Okay. Okay. So, what is the center of my being? Okay. So, so I need to locate that center. By locating that center only, I'll be able to get into my current state. And then, evaluating with my desirable state. So, that self-review. And with the self-review, the program for the further development. Okay. I have a question like, but yeah, yesterday I uh, got a call from uh, like my uh, colleague, like he was, he's uh, my brother from another parent. That is what the relationship with me like. And uh, he, he was talking about his personal issue for one and a half hours. So far, last one year, he didn't call me. Like, even if he calls, he talk about the publications that and all he'll do. And then he'll quit. And yesterday night, he called me. Before, one, that is one week itself, he told me that he wanted to talk to me. And I said, I okay, I'll call you back, I said, and I forgot it. And uh, yesterday night, by 9 o'clock, he called me and he was speaking with me for one and a half hours nearly. And before this call, one month or two months back, I got a call from his wife also once. And she, she was telling a lot of issues about him. Okay, I said, you want me to talk with uh, uh, your husband? Shall I talk with him like that? I asked. And she, says, she said, no, no, you need not talk like that. She, so I didn't tell him anything that what she shared with me. And also she said that don't, uh, don't tell anything whatever I'm sharing it to you. So I didn't, usually I never involve in this kind of issues between husband and wife. Uh, issues and all because they today they'll fight together and tomorrow they'll join. Why I need to join? <laughs> that that is what the thing that I usually think. And then you want us to get involved into your issues? No, no, no. <laughs> it's not like that. But uh, yesterday he was talking. I fe I feel like crying yesterday. Like he cried yesterday night and he was telling about. Uh, they they reached the point like p applying for divorce like that, and uh, they were having three kids. Like I thought of, uh, I started thinking about those three kids 
uh, one is of age seven and the other two are of twins the second uh, children's were twins and they are of three to four ages and they are separated now they are living separately and and this is what he was discussed and i was longly thinking about the children and when he started crying like i got a feeling of fear in me like whether he is going to do something like unwanted things like that i thought like i got a fear uh, uh, that is absolute fear in me like uh, i i started to console him like uh, don't uh, think those things and all uh, uh, yeah like you stay calm for at least one month you work on yourself like you stay calm for a quite period the children are with their mother only nobody else uh, there she is going to leave them so keep calm and keep listen to what is happening everything will change like that i said but then i couldn't come out of that particular incident like one and a half hours talk no out of that i couldn't come out even from the morning i was sitting there whenever wherever i go it is coming into my mind which means that i am not in my state like always i am getting that when i talk about that i am getting the feeling of fear and see if now i am going to think of that i am thinking of it that also but i want to be in my state also now if i want to think on myself i should omit that issue and i have to go out of it like that if it is so am i ignoring that i am i selfish like i am thinking of myself alone my happiness alone my peace alone am i working on my harmony alone if i'm going to ignore because i want to stay stable so that point i'm going to i want to leave out of that particular thing how will come out of it how will work on this kind of situation i know that it's my peace my harmony my happiness everything i know but the one very close to me is suffering a lot he is crying literally crying and that feeling is affecting me a lot then how should i work on this side this type of situation yeah look at like there are multiple questions the question number 1 that how can i ensure my harmony and this is what we have been talking discussing understanding the importance of value education since introductory workshop correct i am suffering with it i want to be happy but i am suffering i am having all this you know issues in me do i want that my children should suffer the same so this serious efforts to bring value education into our curriculum is important at least we will be able to guide them you know our children and all so this is you know the first question your many question your second question of your many question is that for one and half year there was like almost no communication and this couple had a trouble and the trouble had gone to the divorce and now you are thinking about those two children and your brother right that worry factor is there one particular damage has happened we can always take an efforts to recover it but parallelly if we take more efforts that such sort of damage would not happen in the future so for that what is required it's required to continue efforts for my resolution my own resolution you know having this clarity within because now even if you want to help your brother you need to have some clarity correct so unless i have that help in me i can't give it to the other so that clarity is also required number 3 one of the question in your question that why should i go in in this husband and wife matter so that question is also a question of relationship that the relationship is there right and i want to go into this husband and wife matter now because i am identifying this relationship but again understanding that feeling of relationship if i have that feeling of relationship if i have that clarity on what is trust what is respect what is affection then only i'll be able to do a proper analysis of this whole situation now what is happening i'm not able to do the proper analysis of this whole situation 
the thoughts are becoming very disorganized and random that is the reason you are losing your peace but if you do the proper analysis you can be in a peace and with that peace within definitely you can be a little help to your brother okay is it not like i am selfish and all if yeah. i do proper analysis See, and for the past one and half years you were quite selfish <laughs> in that sense the way you are saying you know in that sense past one and half year you were selfish but now you have the concern for your brother and no, his children i have feel so, like some so when some wait, issue arises in yeah, his life yeah wait 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 <laughs> right so past one and half year the sense of selfish you are saying that way you are quite selfish but now you have concern right now you are becoming selfish in a different sense you are trying to understand and you are trying to resolve this issue by putting efforts in yourself the development efforts is not a selfish thing it's basically with this efforts only i can participate my living in all the expanse of my being without that it is not possible so realizing this existence within understanding the harmony within and then contemplation understanding the participation with the feeling of relationship is this the selfishness even yesterday when i asked him like should i talk to your wife can i talk to you or, or else i'll convince her shall i talk to your wife he is, he is also telling don't talk to her you need not go and talk to her like that only both of them are putting much of issues on on either side on me and i am getting restless about it that's what <laughs> yeah see sometimes you know sometimes a human being just wants to share his emotions so we can just listen to the emotion if he is saying that don't talk to my wife which means he is not expecting any sort of solution from you but he is going through right and he is not able to handle within so he wants to share with you and is it not thing. the trust on me like uh, it is not i want to make sure of it it's like whenever they I'm, want to share what i'm saying what i'm saying he just wants to share the difficulty he is going through with someone and he have identified you as that someone as one of that someone and you would not be the only someone okay if you are if you would just listen to him he will share with you if not he will share with you his another sister but in such cases if you have time at least we can listen to those people right just listen what they want to share that's it thank you bhaiya thank you we listen to the television also right <laughs> if 2 3 hours i can listen to the television then at least half an hour i can listen to the human being any question is the development of this sanskar right the development of sanskar and in the development of sanskar the first important factor is the environment my sanskar at this moment and the environment there is the environment around us but who select the environment environment is selecting you or you are selecting the environment i am selecting the environment right let me give example of shiva bhaiya shiva bhaiya is not the participant right he is on the job he works in the mathematics department of this university so he has to be there in the department but he is selecting the environment whenever he have free time he is coming here 
is sitting here correct what you think that is he the only person in this campus who have done uhb2 an introductory workshop is he the only person who is aware in this campus that uhb3 workshop is going on there are many people right what those many people must be doing at this moment they are selecting their environment <laughs> right so each one of us selects our environment each one of us select our environment so if if this happiness is important for me then i will keep selecting the environment in which my development will happen correct so one of the thing of selecting environment is at least visualizing my position in the whole existence see how much environment we are able to select till today tell me what are the environment we are getting exposed to selecting the environment feeling of happiness yeah the maximum environment the area of our environment for the maximum time what sort of environment we select to how many people is is our environment some sort of activities some sort of sports some sort of politics right some sort of entertainment and even if you look into the whole area of that environment is very narrow how many times we visualize that there is a coimbatore city next to chennai there is another city tanjavur there is another city mamlapuram there is another city trichy and in all the city lots of people are living how many times i have the visualization of these people how many times i have this visualization of the people who are living in the neighboring state of tamil nadu right so more and more we create such sort of environment environment of visualization within an environment for because this environment is going to participate and contribute in the development of my next sanskar that i am able to see that there are different states of india and in each of the state there are people living and they are also human being like me how many times i am able to see that there is a neighboring country to india and there are neighboring country to india how many times we are able to see that we are in one continent and there are other continents also or my environment is my mother in law my husband me my hod the broader environment will make and then the complete environment will go so when we have we start developing this broader environment around then lots of curious curiosity gets generated what is the curiosity gets generated how the keralites people must be because i am in tamil nadu right then the next curiosity will come how the sri lankan people must be because they are the neighboring country then the next curiosity will come how the australian people must be because it's a neighboring continent then understand human being because if you understand human being you will understand the human being in kerala you will understand the human being in sri lanka you will understand the human being in australia so we create the environment of understanding human being so how this environment can be created that there is possibility traveling from one place to another place i may listening to something some music some lecture some meeting some session right so I, i have this bluetooth device with me i can listen to the lectures i can listen the content which will enrich my next moment of sanskar this self exploration so i am in some sort of environment okay environment for example i am watching this television that is also an env- environment and there is someone comes on comes on the television 
and says that if you buy this, you will be happy. Explore within. If I buy this, will I going to get happiness? Or if I buy this, it is going to provide some sort of physical facility to nurture and protection of the body. If every time, if we keep looking into our current sanskar and search for an environment, get ourselves into an environment where our next sanskar will get enriched and we do this exploration, this also helps us in speeding up our transformation. Otherwise, the transformation has got its own speed. But then, you know, we can speed up our transformation. Time t. Finally, t plus 1. Yeah. The sanskar at time t, which means at this moment, yeah. environment at this moment, the time t, exploration at this time t is equal to the sanskar at time t plus 1, my next moment sanskar. Okay. Okay, my next moment sanskar and my current sanskar I am going to carry in my next moment. Like I am struck up in identifying where my center of living is. is See, I am stuck up, right? I am stuck up in identifying what is the center of my being? That is a question. That's a question. In the lunch time, Sumandidi came to drop lunch box and she was wearing some, something on her finger, right? So I thought it's to check BP, some small device is there, na? So that kind of device was there. So I asked Sumandidi, what is that? So she said, this is telemeter. Telemeter, telemeter. I said, what is the meaning of this telemeter? So she said that I am observing my feeling of opposition and whenever the feeling of opposition comes, I press the button. So that it, gi it gives one count. So whenever the feeling of opposition is coming, she is pressing the button. Every year she is checking how many numbers are there now. Every hour she is checking. So in the one hour, five times. Two hours, how many times? whole day how many times correct so if i am not able to directly look within every moment then such sort of things need to be done my friend you know raghavendra bhaiya he is in uh, bhopal indor indor right so once he was saying that all those places in his house and the office where he normally goes and sit he has written a cheat time to look within, time to look within. So on his mirror, it's written time to look within. So when you go for the brush, you see that time to look within. So while doing the brush, at least the attention goes inside. On his chair, it is written time to look within. Next to the television, it is written time to look within, right? Even he said on the dining table also written time to look within. So all those places where, where wherever he spend the time, he has written time to look within. So we can do such sort of exercise. At least we can look into our thoughts and whatever the thoughts are going on, whatever the feelings are going on, observe it for one day, two day, three day and keep writing it. With those thoughts, with this exercise will be help, will be a help for you to find out your center of your being. If you are not able to see to my center, because at this particular moment of time, I may have one particular center, right? But where my center of being is, that I need to observe consistently for at least one month. So the mean average of this one, one month will be the center. At this moment, it may be physical facility as the center. But the mean of next one month will be the center. Okay. I, I have one more question. Yesterday there was a question regarding uh, what you do for yourself to be here. And uh, quite it was uh, not answered as Ganesh Bhaiya said that it can be answered later. 
and uh, is it possible to get a clarity on that no i mean sir has all this question for question for ourselves i don't think sir will answer to this he just simply asked us what have you done for you to be there yourself to be here now you need to think about it you need to reflect on it yeah, have you done anything uh, that's like uh, uh, didi said that uh, maybe i may be a reason for the self of my child to be here See, the question was for you hmm. for yourself to be here for your body to be here have you done anything for that no then why do we carry so much of ego okay. sir actually wanted to draw attention on this particular point that i have not done anything for myself to be here i have not done anything for my body to be here then why do i carry so much of ego in me i am not able to evaluate myself correctly and that whenever i carry you know have so much of ego my center of being is somewhere here s1 or s2 correct in that sense i mean i don't know why he has asked the question but that was the sense for me that i thought that he wanted to draw my attention that you have not done anything for your self to be here and your body to be here now what you can do the body is there the self is there the coexistence is there so understand coexistence the body is in a harmony so understand harmony the self has a provision to be in a harmony so realize that potential and get yourself into the harmony so that was the sense to me so i have not done anything for the self i have not done anything for the body it is there as coexistence is there thank you maya why do we place that shift s1 between 5 and 4 s2 between 3b and 3a s3 between 2b and 2a is there any basis for that yeah i mean when you see the sensation the self is understanding the sensation who is enjoying the test the self is the self here is purely body has no understanding similarly physical facility has no understanding right so from i am the body and physical facility is everything from there i am doing this shift that the body has a sensation and that sensation is the center of my living center of my being right so this is shift it's shifting from here okay so when we look within then there is possibility that the body and the physical facility which means money and the body is everything for me even i am not looking into the sensations right whether it's creating some sort of impact on the body that awareness is also not there just totally indulge into the physical facilities with an assumption that i am the body then if you look here that the here at least that one shift is taking place what that shift is taking place the sensation is also there so the body is there the sensation is there and this sensation is to nurture the body is to protect the body is to do the right utilization of the body so this sort of set of proposal is also there plus the assumptions related to the sensation is also there so at least my awareness level of clarity and awareness is more so it's into the another shift now when the sensation is the center of my living is the center of my being so feelings from the other becomes important to me because that's also a sensation when someone say good things about me it's a sensation right here i don't bother what the other people are talking about me 
because what I think that I have this physical facility and I have the body and this is enough for me. So whether others say good to, about me, others share the feelings, others don't share the feelings, like someone other day, I'm just giving this example, I don't remember, I think Vijay Shri, yeah, she was sharing that in a friend circle, there's two people like husband and wife, the fight is going on. Right, this fight is going on between these two people and you know why the fight is going on and while the fight goes and after the fight goes, this husband says that this is my television, this is my TV, don't turn on, right, this is my fan, don't switch on this fan, this is my AC. So look at you are not even able to see the other person, that wife is there and I am there. So if she wants to turn on the fan and if it is hot, she can turn on the fan. But if she turns on the fan and I say, this is my fan, this is my AC, this is my television. I mean, these are the common physical facilities, right? So that's basically five and six, right? That is five and six. From there, at least I'm shifting. I'm having some clarity about the feelings are important in relationship. Expecting this feeling from the other. Body also has got sensation. At least sometimes I'm, you know, getting aware that the food is to nurture the body. So shift is taking place, right? Shift is taking place. Before this, I consume the food just as a physical facility. But now I'm looking at the food as to nurture the body. So this shift is taking place. So that's why it's up. Okay. When we take food, some sensation is happening, physical facility. Yeah. Just try looking into it, right? When we take food, some sensation is happening, right? That the, the test of that food, you enjoy or you don't enjoy only when you attach your sensation to it. Otherwise, you don't enjoy or don't enjoy the test. So the sensation right, is there. But then this shift is basically indicating that I am getting aware the body has a sensation and the guided sensation is to protect the body, to nurture the body. Okay. So that shift is there. All right. Eventually, like the one, in one line, what we can say, this realization within, understanding the harmony in the nature, and then contemplation can trigger out my desires so that my B2 block remain guided with the B1, and slowly and gradually, I can work for my development. Okay. Thank you.